Hi, welcome. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to use a component called the uh, JText area. And the uh, JText area is similar to JText field, uh, but with a few differences. And one of those differences is uh, that the JText area is uh, reserved for entrance of a larger amount of text. So let's create a new class to show you how JText area works. And I'll name my class text area. Okay. Delete these. Uh, let's create a JFrame object as a top level container. Uh, title will be like JText area demo. Now let's uh, create our JText area. Text area. JText area. Also, let's import a JText area from JavaX Swing. Uh, as a first argument, I can pass a text which will be displayed in our text area and it will be like hello it's optional uh, second argument will be height in columns and third argument will be width also in columns as a container for jtext area you should always use a jscroll p so you can scroll down your text Let's import scroll pin and let's pass text area as an R. Now let's make a constructor. Let's add scroll pin on a frame. And let's call set full close operation method. And it will be disposal close. back method and set visible method. Also let's call invoke later method from swing utilities and let's say new runnable and let's override run method. Here is going to be new text pair. Okay, let's run this to see what we have. And here it is, our JTEXT area with uh, this text inside. And when it comes to methods you can call from this class, uh, they are more or less similar to those you can call from JTEXT class, like uh, set editable, uh, set enabled, um, set and get text also you can call one method which doesn't exist in j text field class that's uh, append method so you can append a new text like i'll say from uh, j text here okay Let's run this to see what we have. And as you can see, we have uh, added this new text here. Uh, it doesn't delete our previous text. Also, when it comes to event handling with uh, JTEXT area, you can add focus and document listener, but you can't add uh, action listener. And I think there is no need to make a tutorial about that 